on my chair. Hey, look, it's like in the middle of the night. I mean, literally like three o'clock or something like that. I, I, I went to bed early, eight o'clock, whatever, something like that. Whatever it is. Drinking water. That's what I usually do in the middle of the night. If I do wake up, which I drink water. Mm. Uh, but I, I, I'm, 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 I'm waking up, or not waking up, I'm, I'm talking to you because uh, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that uh, a little kerfuffle <laughs> with WBA, I mean, how I mean, the parent company Pacifica Foundation's kerfuffle with uh, the, the local station in New York, WBAI, which is my station, which I am actually arts director emeritus for this station, and we're scheduled to do a live audio drama next Saturday, the 16th. But all, in the middle of this audio drama that I'm you know, presenting, we had this real live audio drama, this real live radio drama, because we have audio drama comes from the tradition of radio dramas of the uh, of last century. You know, because you remember, radio is only less less than a hundred years old, and people get old. I don't know, but they get they get crazed or something like that. Anyway, uh, so I just wanted to say that the this, the 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 action that the that the parent company took to try to, I don't know, what did they try to do to us? I don't know. They tried to they try oh they tried to kill the we 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 like when the children they tried to kill one of their children because there's five stations in the uh, in the Pacific network of stations, you know, um, the, the, well, in, that that Pacific owns a license to, you know, one one in Berkeley, California, one in Los Angeles, one in Houston, Texas, one in Washington D.C. and the New York stations, which is the biggest station because it's the biggest market and blah 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 blah. It's the middle of the commercial commercial band. All these other stations that did whatever. So anyway, so it's a valuable thing. So what they wanted to do is they wanted to smother this kid <laughs> to save the other four kids, but it didn't work. <laughs> Because you just can't do it. See, here's the thing about community radio, people don't understand. Well, first of all, let me just explain radio to you, for, not radio, but the way it is in the United States, right? You have your regular commercial stations, but whatever, you know, and then supposedly the if uh, the, the public, you know, the decision, decisionary decisionary owns the airwaves and they uh, allow... Um, they allow certain things to happen in the name of the citizens, and uh, then you have the commercial. That's that's your commercial stations are they? They, they uh, the government gives them you know access license whatever to do whatever they want to do. I don't know what, what they do. There's somewhere in the, in the mid '60s uh, they created this public radio. You know, uh, public radio was just that. You know, uh, uh, it's almost like, uh, well, it's like it's like it's like it's the government said that hey, you got to have the the. the, the Somebody has to do something with just the public. You can't do this commercial thing. But they, the, when the public radio first started, there was no commercials, anything, you know. But then they st slowly but surely they started c commercial entities to try to creep in and take over. You know what I mean? They they would sponsor things like, oh, this program was brought to you by at the end of the program. You know, they would you know put commercials in the middle of the program. But that slowly became what we have right now, which is just basically NPR or, or uh, public broadcast system, whatever they are. The PBS, yeah, uh, trying to uh, these people get there. They they're basically auditioning for the for the commercial stations, and then you have um, then you have community stations. But let me put something in the middle of that. Uh, somewhere in the, in the, I guess it was the seventies, yeah, seventies, eighties. You had public access, uh, and that's your just your basic because cable came about. What happened? Cable they did something very interesting, which I thought was very good. They 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 made it so like C-SPAN, which you know is C-SPAN, which is not commercial. Basically, all the all the um, all the cable companies had to put into a certain pool to create C-SPAN would give them enough money to have to operate in things and blah, 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 blah. Which is different than actually than, than like your local neighborhood public access station. But somehow they're all hooked up. I'm not getting into that thing because that's, that's not radio. I deal with radio. But there's this thing called non-commercial radio, which is what we're involved with. And uh, non-commercial is simply that. There are no commercials. you got to get your money from the peoples. And I insisted that there was a conspiracy, you know, that when, when this first started, BAI uh, uh, came, came about in 1960, was, uh, was granted to Pacific Foundation in 1960. Uh, in January, in fact, it went on as, as WBAI as a non-commercial station. But... Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying that what happens when, so this is before, remember, this is like 1960, the, the public uh, PBS didn't come out to like 1965, 66, I was some, some way beyond that. Uh, but they, I guess they realized that, hey, if they didn't do a public thing, then these non-commercials, you know, these non-commercials, these, yeah, these, these, these uh, uh, community radio stations would have more clout because they would, they would appealing to the public for their money, but the public radio station also did the same thing, so it was the government coming in trying to do the same thing, you see? They're, taking, they're cutting off the steam right in the beginning. Somebody said, oh, we better nip this in the bud, just like Pacifica tried to nip BAI in the bud. Oh. Think of Joker trying to kill his mama. 
No, that, that wouldn't be the right analogy. Ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, look. Uh, 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 so anyway, so 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 that's what that's what happened. Uh, BAI is the most successful of the thing. They went try to put this narrative like you know, hey, you know, we're losing money for them. No, no, we make the most money for them. They can't they can't raise. They don't know what they're doing. Blah 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 blah. So anyway. So, uh, uh, so they, they, we foiled their plan because, like, a few months ago, uh, three months ago, whatever it is, five months ago, this guy came in. You know, kind of, they all come from this other commercial mindset or whatever. Have they? They don't come from from the community. That's the problem. I mean, the the reason why uh, I uh, look the, the programming that I do is called No More Radio. That's my own brand, if you will, if you want to put it that way. And No More means basically seed. You know, just there's a lot of things it means, but seed is one of the things it means. And basically, it's, 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 uh, for me, it's uh, one of my favorite words, too, is autochthonous. In other words, no more radio or, 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 or non-commercial uh, uh, radio, or more specifically, community radio comes from that particular community. And you cannot try to network it with, with you know, something that plays in, in, in you know, in Missouri is not going to necessarily play in New York. Something that plays in New York is not necessarily going to um, play in St. Louis, you know, so I guess in Missouri, uh, to, to play, you know, in, uh, you know, in, in, in Phoenix. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it just doesn't work. So they, they wanted the Pacifica want to come here and make a new uh, Pacifica all over the country thing, whatever it is, you know. Again, thinking in this other, this uh, lion, basically, but thinking in this other thing, but, but the, the station, your, your autochthonous people, they're going to have a different spin than everybody else. You just have to, you know what I mean? I mean, I just came from a, a thing with the squat uh, at uh, not just a couple of nights ago. And I did a I did a thing on it, but what, what was disturbing about that uh, about that exhibit is that uh, because he was dealing with just the Michael Stewart aspect of this one, and and, and, and then Michael Stewart was the person that got killed in Lower East Side, and specifically on Fourteenth Street, uh, uh, by some cops. Think about cops here. You know, that's, that's probably just uh, fire trucks, whatever, ambulance. Anyway, uh, in New York City, and 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 they had somebody come in to curate this thing that wasn't from New York from Texas, something like that. And plus, uh, uh, so, so they had this exhibit just dealing with Michael Stewart, but part of this, they had a painting there that was in, that, that was, it's part of this thing, has nothing, Biscott didn't do it. It was somebody, some other, this curator, this guest curator to the, to, to the, uh, to the Guggenheim comes in with, I guess, with their peoples, you know, and obviously none of them came from the Lower East Side, none of them was in the Lower East Side at that particular time. It was a different era then. And they put in this, they put in this exhibit in this exhibit, just a long thing. This a uh, painting. It was, it was like, and it looked. It was like Michael Stewart done feminized. You know what I mean? In a New York City police uh, uh, department thing, and then the whole idea was to, you know, the things coming together. This intersectionality they talk right now, but the, but it was like, you know. It, it was like this person, this this activist from a, from outside the thing, came in and tried to put her thing on a New York thing. That's not. That's not how you do it. And that's, to me, that sums up, you know, why you have to have, you know, a toxic, you have to have your seed that comes from the community. Always, you have to have your own community radio station, you know, which is other why I'm in Africa, there's uh, this, this African station that you don't know about. It's called Kasi Tika, Kasi to Kasi, which is basically means location to location, but it's the location in the, in the Eastern Cape. It has nothing to do with Johannesburg, it has nothing to do with Cape Town. You see what I'm saying? So you have to have those entities because that's how people communicate. And I've done work all over the world with community radio stations. And there's a certain thing that you, you, you the people know the people. You have to you have to have them. You have to have community radio stations. These big things, these big clubs, with some one voice, you know, one voice talks about to the whole country because they that 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 that. You know, it doesn't work. You know, because in one voice, then then you have somebody else. Into, uh, I'm so going off, but I have to say. But you have some, you have someone uh, 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 aping somebody else, aping somebody, aping somebody else. So basically, you see, you have Fox News, but what, Fox is no different than than MSNBC, than CNN. They all say the same things at the same time. That's why they keep on talking about impeachment, impeachment, impeachment. Ain't nobody, they know people. Nobody talking about impeachment. They do this on the ground. They they don't. <laughs> okay, go ahead and do that. But we got some other things. We got some real issues to deal with. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, you might not see what I'm saying. So let me just stop here because, like I said, it's the middle of the night. I just want to tell you the BAI is back. Community radio is what it's supposed to be. And you just can't, you can't kill it. You can't smother it. You know, you just, you just can't kill it. You can't kill it. And neither can I, I being me, me, T.
guarantee for the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. 